Hey guys, welcome back to Express Gaming, your place to go. You give me news and reviews. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Luke the Notable trademark situation. But before we get into that, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. Okay, guys. First off, that's the Luke the Notable thing. Let's talk about, about how that thing happened, though, dude. I may not be the biggest fan of Minecraft content, but what is happening with Luke right now um, is shitty for Minecraft creators because of what Luke the Notable did. If you haven't heard, it has come out that Luke the Notable has filed a trademark on 100 days content. Uh, we got this right here from uh, Billy who has a screenshot of it. He tweeted out, so at Luke the Notable has registered to trademark the, one, the day 100 Minecraft video trend and he's been DMing YouTubers asking them not to make more of these type of videos because he started the trend. Does not remember what happened to Finebo's absolutely ridiculous behavior. LMAO. And then it and then it shows a uh, screenshot of the trademark and uh, has everything there. Uh, trademarks from the US Patent and Trademark Office, 100 days. Um, owner, Luke the Notable. Yeah. Yeah, nothing much you can really do to like, say you didn't do it. Okay, this is like, him filming this is not good for the Minecraft community, though, dude. Uh, for multiple different reasons, though, dude. Not not only has he, like, as I said there, though, dude, he's been DMing YouTubers to tell them to stop making these videos. Uh, he has been doing this, though, pretty much low-key threatening them at this point, though, dude. Uh, because, they, even though, because, like, technically, because, like, if he doesn't do it, he's pretty much going to copyright strike it, though, dude, and all that stuff. Uh, because he did this though, dude, he pretty much made a monopoly on the 100 days content. And no one should be able to have this much. Uh, because no one should be able to trademark a type of content though, dude. You, no one should be able to like trademark vlog, commentary, or let's play. So, dude, that right there would just kill that thing right there, dude. And after a while, no one would watch them anymore anyways. Because people are going to be spiteful of the person who trademarked it. Okay, um... No one, okay, so I, but if you haven't heard, like, they, then they said the Fine Bros, dude, uh, if I remember correctly, I had heard that they had tried to trademark the term Reacts back in 2016, and their reputation has not come back even close to where they are right now, though, dude, yeah. And if they would have been able to do that, though, dude, that would have killed any reaction channels from the future, or even from then, though, dude, you know, dude, we wouldn't have stuff like, uh, Reaction Time, uh, Pretty much anything like that to do. We wouldn't have a lot of these reaction channels, though, dude. Which are usually good. Which are usually okay channels, though, dude. And they're pretty decent content. Would have... Okay. Same thing applies here. You should not be able to try and trademark a certain type of content. Like, again, though, dude. Imagine at the beginning of YouTube. If creators had started making stuff like vlogs, commentaries, let's plays, and more. Though, dude, they just pretty much just uh, started trademarking all those stuff, though, dude. We would, there there would be there would be only like one vlog channel though, dude that made money, one commentary channel, one let's play channel, and all that stuff. One you one, uh, beauty guru channel, whatever it is that I'm not really that seems to be pretty popular on YouTube, I guess, though, dude. But still, it's not good, though, dude. Like, who knows, though, dude? If someone would have like um trademarked the word um uh. uh uh, challenge though, dude, and then Mr. Beast probably wouldn't be a thing with like you know all of his uh, challenges that are amazing though, dude, and really well edited and all that stuff though, dude. Like, okay, yeah, YouTube probably would have died as a ch as a platform a long time ago. Okay, there has been some updates today though, dude. That so today, why I told you before, it happened like yesterday and stuff like that though, dude. But the update today includes several tweets from Luke the Notable, and here they are. It says, uh, you may have heard the news that I was trademarking 100 days. I am abandoning this trademark. There will be no restrictions on any 100 days slash drops content for anyone. Please continue creating. My emotions got in the way of what should have been a friendly share of content. I hope you will still allow me to post 100 days. I have been working on one for some time now, and I think it's a great addition to the 100 days family which we can all be a part of careers have been created here and i am sorry for my, that my actions almost ruined that going forward i'm going to be trying my best to earn back the trust of the community i will do my best to lift 
uh, my fellow 100 Days creator and defend our rights to create, I am with you not just for 100 days, but for uh, a million days. Stay notable. Okay. Here's what I think about this, though, dude. It doesn't matter if you're dropping the things now, because you already did it. Kind of thing. Dude. Like with the Fine Bros. It does not matter that they, that they didn't get trademarked, though, dude. They still try to do it, though, and their reputation still hit. What this is going to do, more to him, though, dude, silly. He's, I'm pretty sure most creators aren't going to want to, uh, you know, uh, can't think of the term, like, like yeah, there's like, yeah, you're not going to have, like, it's like, a lot of those things that helps, like, a lot of creators to do, where, or do, you want to do, like, a lot of the people, though, do, who are going to do this, though, do, are probably going to stay away from him, though, do, and not, like, make, make videos with him, you know, because of this, though, dude, like, 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 it, it's just shitty what he did, and there's only two things, though, dude, that, no, two, two reasons that he that this thing pretty much started that he did that though dude. One is for the publicity and he had no actual intention of actually doing that dude. Which I doubt. I doubt that this was all just for publicity. This was just a publicity stunt. And even if it was, this is horrible publicity. Not all good not all publicity is good publicity. Especially in this situation. And then, um, the other reason, though, dude, is that, like, um, he pretty much got caught doing this, and then, um, he dropped it. Like, I think I, I, think I saw this right here, the dudes, again, it was another one by Billy, where it's like, I, all it took was one Mojang employee to say it was probably against terms of service, and it's all over. Pretty much, dude, about, about him dropping it, though, dude. I'm guessing some employee at Mojang... Pretty much said that, yeah, yeah, this is probably, yeah, this is against terms of service. Yeah. And so, again, though, dude, uh, let's look at some of the comments on his tweet, actually, though, dude, while we're here. You're only apologizing because you got caught. You only care about your own pockets and not the fans. If this wasn't the case, why did you try and trademark 100 days in the first place, huh? Shame that it took a Mojang employee to call you out before you stopped and apologized. Under that, it's just bad tweet. I bet you're the kind of person to cancel someone over what they said five years ago. Okay, uh, I'm not going to tell you who this guy is, but that is retarded because this happened, like, within the past month, pretty much. Like, the trademark said it was filed on, like, um... Okay, let's look at this here. The trademark said it was filed on, uh... uh okay, it doesn't say there, but... Uh, I was looking at the trademark itself. It said it was like in like middle of December though, dude. Which yeah, this happened like a month ago, and it kept up pretty much. Kind of. That was when it was filed. Yeah, I'm sorry. This right here did not happen five years ago. This happened the other day. If you did something within a, within even like a year or so, though, dude, year or two, whatever, dude, dude. Yeah, you should. Sure, yeah, that's so recent enough that it was like you. You still did it. You are still a. You, you still did something bad, and. You're not gonna just give be forgiven because you re because you undid it though, dude. Even though pretty much the only reason you undid it was because of a Mojang employee. You're still you still were kind of a he was still kind of a garbage person though, dude. And and I don't think anyone should really like um support him though, dude. At this point, yeah. Okay, guys. I mean, at this point though, yeah, I, yeah. I, I it's so like I can't. And about the uh, thing that when he was when he said, uh, "Okay, uh, oh, some other stuff is like between the first and th 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 was like I was worried about getting credit for the content that I produced instead of lifting up those that were inspired by me. When you put something on the internet, may be used by someone else. This caused me stress and anxiety when it should have been a source of inspiration. It is very easy to trim or something like this, and I was scared someone might try to do the same to me, taking away the series I love to create. My actions almost took away the series from everyone else, and I'm sorry that t for that won't happen again. Sorry. Um, you, that producer said of lifting up like that. Why would you, bro, you shouldn't be worried about getting credit to do for the content you made if they're not directly using the footage you use, kind of thing to do. It doesn't, even if they got inspired by you, they kept I'm sorry, like, if I made, if I made, if I made, like, a series on YouTube, though, dude, and someone, like, kind of copied it, though, dude, I'd be okay with that, though, dude, you know? Like, they wouldn't need to, like, credit me on it, though, dude, but, I, but it'd be okay to get credited, you know? And then she's like, I hope you still allow me to post 100 days. I mean, sure. I don't think that really matters. That was the whole point, though, dude, about those things that you shouldn't really be, 
stopping people for uploading this type of content just because you were just because he was mad though, dude, that he wasn't getting credited. So I don't care if he uploads anymore though, dude. And I used to like his content though, dude. It was okay, but uh, but hey, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload here every day at 3 p.m. See you tomorrow. Bye.